What's up guys? Welcome back or welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Mackenzie. Make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you're following me on Instagram, TikTok to stay with me. Also, I wanted to wish you guys Happy New Year. Happy 2022. I'm very excited and very hopeful for the new year. I really like the start of the new year just because it sets me up to like reorganize my space, get everything, get my life back in order from the craziness of the holidays and everything. So that's exactly what I'm doing today in today's video. I am going to Target and I'm going to go ahead and reset my space for the living room. We took down literally all of Christmas so it looks so bare. So I really wanted to kind of redesign it and like not repurpose but just reinvent the space that I have in the living room. So with that being said, I'm gonna give you a quick overview of what the living room looks like as of right now. And then we're gonna go to Target and shop with me and then come back. I'll show you a haul and then also I'll show you guys how I put, where I put everything and how I design it or decorate it. Yes, let's go ahead and go look at the living room just to see what kind of, what we're working with. Okay, so this is what we're looking at with the living room. We just have some basic neutral pillows. The tree was right there. We had some Christmas decor on the coffee table. We have our entertainment center that is super bare. Everything is just bare bones right now. We have some little fun neutral decor such as this end table, but this is pretty much it. That's that. There's Jake. <laughs> And then the kitchen island is completely bare also. We have a lot to work with. Target. I'm gonna go ahead in. I really have no sort of plan with trying to reset my space for the new year. I don't know. I just love redecorating and Target's new stuff is like so good. I really have to try to plan and see what will actually look good and everything. So I'm gonna go in. I have a few Pinterest pictures that I think I want to like kind of get inspiration from. I tried to go last night actually, but it did not work because I was with a couple of other people and like just like friends and stuff. That always gives me anxiety because I'm like, I need my time to think, I need to like concentrate, I need to like not be judged for like anything. So this is my me time, let's go. Okay, so I really like this pillow right here. I mean, it's just like a basic white pillow. For the couch, I think it'd just be like a clean start. to find some coffee table decor because it's really hard to decorate coffee tables so i was thinking just like a plant and kind of like a pot of some sort and like some table books coffee table books something like that Okay, I'm gonna do a little quick haul, speedy haul, because I have to get going soon. So the first thing I got was this candle. It's the Hearth and Hand Oaken Lavender Candle. This is $25, smells really good. And I got another Hearth and Hand Cedar Magnolia Candle. This was $8, it smells really great. Also, it smells like a man, which is amazing. I have been eyeing this for a long time. It's this Garland by Threshold. It's so cute. This was really loud, 30 bucks. This tray I also got from Threshold. It's $25. Two plants. This one is a faux olive plant, which is stunning. It's like my favorite thing that I got. And this was $30 as well. And then I got this plant, which is a faux jasmine plant. It just looks like the new year. Am I wrong? And this was $25. And then we're gonna move on to the pillows I got. I got three pillows. Two are just this basic white big pillow. I just think it would elevate the space a lot because we have a lot of smaller pillows. Like I think they're like 16 by 16 inch pillows. So they're really small. So I feel like they make the couch look even smaller. And then I got one of this. I think this pattern is so cute and it kind of matches the couch and stuff like that. It ties everything together. And I just got a few little groceries, which I'll show you guys right now. First, I got some sweet and low. <laughs> Weird. And then I got some lemons because I've been really into iced tea lately and it's been 
a craving of mine. So I got this Gold Peak Unsweetened Tea. And that'll be really good. And then I just got some boring kitchen trash bags. I'm gonna set this all up and I'll see you guys after. back to day two i'm about to change my sheets back to white just because a i need to wash these and b kind of feeling the white more let's take these off shall we I wanted to do a little haul of everything I got from Target and Home Goods. Just went with my mom. Um, I can't be trusted at home decor places. I literally can't because I will buy the entire store. So with that being said, let's get into it. Okay, excuse the mess. Um, in the back, I am washing sheets and stuff like that. First thing I got was from Target and it is this long pillow and it's like neutral and stuff. Time to have a clean start. I had like very warm tones here for the holidays and fall and stuff. So I'm kind of changing it back to neutrals and stuff. So this pillow for my bed. From Target, I also got this little sign. It's so cute. I just like couldn't not get it. It says the sun will come up. The glare is pretty bad, but I think I might put this, I don't really know where, maybe in the bathroom or something like that. That was, if anybody is wondering, $20. Then I got these two pillows for my bed. Again, sticking with the neutrals. This is a two pack of pillows. These were $25 for two. It's a really great price you can't beat. From Target, I also got this little wreath. Um, I know Christmas season is over, but I loved having the wreath on our apartment door. I just think it is so cute. It adds a little bit more personality, especially to the hallway and stuff because when we have friends come over, you know, it's just like, we're the one with the wreath. Then I also got this vase. Um, it is stoneware from Target. It's from the brand Threshold. This was $20 as well. And it's just this like ceramic Piece, and I think it'd be really cute with like some flowers or something like that on my dresser. Okay, then I got a little wet brush, a brand new wet brush because mine is like all broken. The bristles are all broken. This is like a paddle one. It's really cute, like like wood background, I guess. And I got this candle. This is Threshold's like new line, the Crackling Woodwick. Um, it smells like red, red mango and amber. That's the scent and it smells really great. I'm obsessed with olive trees, olive plants, whatever. The glare is coming in really bad right now. I'm obsessed with it. So I got this from the brand Hearth and Hand at Target. This was $25, which is kind of a lot for this little plant. This should have been like 15, honestly. Then some necessities I got some floss. <laughs> then I saw this tray from the brand Threshold. It is like this linen type of material on the inside and it has gold hardware. This was $25. And I think it's so cute, maybe in the bathroom or something. I don't know. I just want to set up the bathroom a little bit more nice. Then in this bag, I got a blanket. <laughs> this blanket feels just like barefoot dreams a little bit it's like not as soft it is still very very soft and it is this like neutral gray and cream and um tan type of it's not really plaid but it's some kind of like design on it looks like plaid a little bit so cute and i want to put that on the couch and then last but definitely not least i got some big old pillows these are ginormous these are like 26 by 26 size pillows and i kind of just want to put them behind our shams and stuff just to make it look a little bit more luxurious and more mature and stuff that is a little haul i'm gonna go ahead and put all of this stuff away and i will show you guys me doing it and i'll show you guys after what it looks like Okay, I can't really decide if I want the wall art above the toilet 
so it's like this above the toilet or I could put it right where these are but take these down that'd be cute I don't like these black frames I might take those down Okay, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna leave these up here for now. And then when I find something else for this, because there's just too many like holes and stuff like that for such a small little frame. So I'm just gonna keep these up and then I will put um, new ones when I, when I get um, more. <laughs> so for now, I'm just gonna, oh, hey. For now, I'm just gonna put it above the toilet. Okay, well, I don't have a hammer and nails at the moment. <laughs> Oh my god, okay. I don't have a hammer and nails for at the moment, um, but that's where it's gonna go for now. While we're in the bathroom though, I also bought these two things to kind of make the bathroom look a little bit more spa-like, I guess. I really like this tray. I just don't really know exactly how I'm gonna do it. Maybe some makeup brushes and a candle. This vase right here and then eventually get some plants either fake plants I actually have some olive branches I know I know some olive branches coming from Amazon that I'll show you guys when I get them but I'm thinking with that would be really cute right there time to put the sheets on the bed and then make the bed also the light in my room is beautiful right now Welcome back. I don't know what day it is for this whole video. If I'm correct, it's day three. Anyway, I just picked up a package. It is 9 p.m. at night. Um, this was delivered earlier to me, but I kept forgetting to go grab it. So, these are both from Amazon. <laughs> okay, I got two um, satin or silk pillowcases. I don't really know. I don't really know the difference. These I cannot live without because they do so much for my hair and skin. Got one. It's gonna be a little big for my pillow, but and Q likes them too, so I got two. And then I got um some olive branches. <laughs> Me and my obsession with olive branches and olive trees. I don't I don't know. They're just so neutral, I feel like. This is what it looks like come together, but the reviews say that it you can like make it go whatever ways. Anyway, I'm gonna put this in that ceramic pot that I got from Target, which is over there somewhere. You can't really see it. Let me go get it. This is a ceramic little vase that I got from Target. Um, and these actually have like little fruits on them, like fake fruits, which is kind of funky. I'm gonna go ahead and try to put it in here and see if it looks good. I'm gonna go put it on the thing and see how it looks. Okay, this is what it looks like. I don't hate it, but I don't love it. I don't know, I think maybe it'll grow on me. Like we'll see in the daytime and if it like looks better, I don't know. Maybe it's the wrong vase, I, I can't really tell. Um, But we're just gonna keep it for now, okay? And also, I didn't tell you guys or show you guys, but I got a new computer Um, yesterday actually. There's like olive branches. I got a new computer yesterday. It is 
a Mac and I love it. Um, my laptop like complete, not completely crashed on me, but it is on its way out. So I have it just still in that drawer just for emergencies or if I need to go somewhere um, as like a travel option. But I feel like such an adult with this computer. It is so sleek. It is amazing. Um, yeah, it was definitely a big girl purchase. And I love it. I love editing on it. It makes me want to work even more. It makes me want to edit and provide like the best content for you guys. So I'm really, really excited about that. Anyway, let's move on to what's in this box. Opening up the second box. I might need scissors. Just kidding. <laughs> Yay, I got two coffee book tables. Coffee table books. Not necessarily, I don't think I'm going to use them for my coffee table just because... I think my coffee table looks fine the way it is right now. Um, so I got two. I got the Kinfolk Home Interiors for Slow Living. I also got these not just for decoration, but also to look through and get some inspiration because I've been so into home decor and like just interior design almost and everything. And it's just like so, I'm obsessed. I feel like my mother. This girl I follow on YouTube, her name is Brandy Jackson. I found a lot of these products on her Amazon storefront page, which I will have linked down below. Below. A lot of her stuff is inspired by like the coffee table books that she buys and stuff. I just love it. I'll show you some like um, examples. Okay, this is like outdoor, but like it is just so cute. I love it. So I was thinking of putting it kind of like on my dresser somehow, like maybe stacked like this. So the binds are showing. I forgot to show you guys the next one. This is The Live Beautiful is by Athena Calderon. This one is just so stunning also. What a dream. I love this type of interior design. Like very natural, clean, but still like homey, you know? So I'm gonna try and stack them maybe. My whole dresser is kind of just an array of things right now. So I don't really know what direction I want to go in or like what to use for certain things. I'll show you guys once I set it up. I think I did it. I don't know how much I love it, but I... I like it enough to keep it. Let me show you. Okay, this is what we have so far. This is the olive tree plant with the Target ceramic. We have Q's Xbox, which is an eyesore. We have no other option. Um, This giant candle. From now on, these are the size candles I need because this has lasted me about a month and it's still pretty good. Anyway, off topic. The two books here. I mean, I would want another one, I think, to stack a third to make it not the same height as the Xbox. I think that's like the thing that's throwing me off is like it looks like two boxes, you know? So I added a little bit more height with this little box. This is also from Target and this just has chargers, birth control, AirPods, stuff like that. This, this was on my nightstand, but I just moved it over here just because I don't need it on my nightstand necessarily. And then I have two picture frames, one of me and Kate and then the other of me and Q. That's the dresser and I also put the pillows on the pillow covers on next order of business is trying to find a style of bed that works with this room I think right now it's too white the bedding is too white um, I need a little bit more character up in there so I don't really know how to go about that. So I'm going to do a little bit more research and then I'll come back to you. If I don't come back to you about it, then I haven't figured it out. So <laughs> see you guys when I get the next things delivered. <laughs> Okay guys, the long-awaited last portion of this video, it is so anti-climatic because there's really not that much left that I ordered. Here we have the box. This is from Amazon. These are not even the one I ordered. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I ordered kitchen towels and I ordered them in this taupe color. This is not taupe. This is gray. Let's let me just show you guys what I ordered because this is not it. I'm so confused. Look at that. That looks brown. What? Gens? This looks brown. Okay. Right? It looks kind of gray to me. No! It is like the dark navy dress thing situation. That's a gray right there. It's but oh, that doesn't yeah. look that gray. <laughs> that is exactly what that looks like. No! This is what I ordered. Please tell me this does not look taupe or brown. And I get this. Like, are we kidding? Why are you so high up here? I was actually really excited about this. Whatever. <laughs> this is like so stupid. And then I got a freaking mouse pad. That's all you're waiting for. That's all I've been waiting for the past couple of days. Freaking mouse pad and wrong kitchen towels. Anyway, this mouse pad's really cute. <laughs> 
that's my freaking video guys and I have COVID <laughs> anyway that's it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed um, I will have everything I bought linked down below or on my Amazon storefront page I hope you guys thoroughly enjoyed even though that was a bust at the end I love you guys and I will see you guys in my next video. Oh, also, I figured out what to do with my bed. If you guys can see, I brought back the leather just because I think it ties in the warmth of everything. But I just kept the white sheets and stuff. So that's what we did. That's what the bed situation. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>